Hey guys, it's Cece and today I'm here to talk about my March favorites. So I started doing favorites videos last month and I got a pretty good response and I thought I would just continue doing them. I think that it was really fun. I really liked talking about some of my other interests last month so I thought I would just keep doing these favorites and I have a whole new list of favorites for you of my favorite stuff from March. So my favorite book of March easily has to be Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I just thought it was so wonderful and happy and beautiful and I can't believe I hadn't read it yet because it was like so perfectly up my alley. The descriptions, the descriptions of the sets that the lead character designs are just like so beautiful and I absolutely loved them. Set designing, art, any of that kind of, it's, it's not my thing at all, but the entire time I was reading this book I felt myself being like, I want to go into making movies. I bet I'd be really great at that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be good at that at all. But this book definitely made me want to be a part of it. And of course, the romance was just amazing. So good, so incredible. I absolutely loved this book. Definitely gonna be on my favorites of the year. Yes. My favorite new booktuber, or not a new booktuber, a new booktuber that I started following in March has got to be Sarah from Sarah Without an H. I only started following her in March, but I think she's really, really funny. I love her videos. I think that the editing she does on some of them is so funny. Also in March, she did a video with another person whose channel I'm forgetting, but I will link below, and they were doing impressions of other booktubers, and it was so, so funny. I just think that her wrap-ups are hilarious, and she, in general, has a really great personality, so definitely a huge fan of Sarah with an H. My favorite bookstagrammer that I want to talk about is Sarah from New Leaf Book Nook, and the reason I wanted to talk about her is that she was a bookstagrammer with a ton of followers. She just hit somewhere in like 35, 40,000, something like that, and then she was hacked and the whole account was deleted and she lost everything. So New Leaf Book Nook is her new bookstagram account and she's kind of building from scratch and trying to get all of those followers back and that just sucks. I can't even imagine. I don't save my own photos, so I know I would have been super sad because I just don't have most of my like bookstagram pictures saved. So definitely go follow her. It's so sad that that happened and honestly she takes some really fantastic pictures and she deserved those followers that she had earlier. I have two favorite videos that I want to talk about from March, and the first is a video from Thoughts on Tomes. She did a video about the different types of bad reviews that people do, and it was so funny and really, really true. I feel like I've done a lot of the different reviews that she talked about in that video, and I also think what was really funny is that for each of the different reviews, you could like immediately think of a booktuber who does those types of reviews most of the time, which I thought was great. Plus, she premiered her new red wig in that video and she looked fantastic in it, so that's another plus. My other favorite video from March was a video called Vine vs. YouTube, and it was a song that was performed by Thomas Sanders, who's from Vine, and he also has a YouTube channel, but mostly we know him from Vine. And it was done on Paint's channel, John Cozart, and basically they did a song comparing Vine and YouTube. I love John Cozart, I love a lot of his music, he does the like Harry Potter in 99 seconds videos, those kinds of things, and I thought that this was just a really funny song, not to mention the fact that I think Thomas Sanders and John Cozart are both incredibly funny people who also have really good voices, so this was definitely just a great video for me, and I wholeheartedly enjoyed it. Here's the thing that happened with TV. I have no new TV to talk about. Let me explain. So basically what happened in March was that they put, I think in February, they put like the first 13 seasons of America's Next Top Model on Prime. And so I spent most of March binge watching America's Next Top Model with Janelle. We watched eight cycles in a very short period of time. And then we recovered ourselves and we tried to watch other shows, but here's the thing, the other shows I watched weren't that great. 
nothing, like, some of it was just because I wasn't in the mood. We stopped and started a show called The Thick of It in March, and it was just, like, not working for us at the time. I watched the first episode of the third season of Misfits, and it was great, and then for some reason, I didn't keep watching the third season of Misfits, so maybe that's my April project. And also, we started and stopped watching Jane the Virgin, which was really disappointing because I was hoping I would love Jane the Virgin, and I didn't at all. I think we watched 11 episodes and then we were like, oops, we still don't get it. We're still really not into it. We don't like any of these people. And so we quit. So yeah, it was kind of a rough month for TV shows. And unfortunately that means that my answer for my favorite TV show is America's Next Top Model, which is weird. Cause mainly, I mean, that was kind of like a guilty pleasure binge watch. So yeah, good news. Things are looking up in April. We've already started a show that's great. We should just leave that disaster behind. Let's talk about movies. So I wanted to talk about a favorite rewatch and a favorite new movie that I watched in March. My favorite rewatch was American Hustle. I haven't seen this movie, honestly, since it came out in theaters and I went and saw it with my dad, so it was really fun to rewatch it. Heist movies, con movies, anything in that variety is my favorite. I'm like addicted to them. It, you could tell me it's the most terrible movie in the world, but if at the end you said, oh, but it's a con movie, I'd be like, what was the name of it again? Can I get that? Can I, do you have it? Can I borrow it? I love them. So American Hustle is just like a really fantastic movie for me. I always feel myself during the first half of the movie being like, I just, I'm not that into it. And then it hits me with the last, with like the end of the movie and I'm like, ah, such style, such cons. So yeah, I, I love con movies. It could be terrible. I'd still adore it. And my favorite new movie that I saw was Zootopia. I haven't been going to see a lot of new releases in the past few months because in the fall I was in London and it's very expensive to see movies there. Plus, you know, I want to spend my time doing stuff besides seeing movies while I'm living abroad. But we went and saw Zootopia and I thought it was so cute and amazing and relevant. All of the characters were really fabulous. I absolutely loved them and I just completely fell in love with it. I, I wasn't expecting like amazing things. I thought I'd like it, but I walked out so happy because I thought it was a incredibly important movie and the way it was done was also fantastic. So definitely a big fan of Zootopia. I can't wait to see it again. Big thumbs up Disney, bravo. So now it's time to talk about music. The same as I did in my last video, I'm going to talk about a top five songs instead of just like an album or one song because that's impossible for me. I didn't actually download any new music in March, so I thought I would just talk about some of my like favorite songs that I've been listening to as spring tentatively arrives. So these are kind of like my spring songs right now. The first one is Crayola Doesn't Make a Color for Your Eyes by Kristen Andreessen. I think that this song is adorable. It's so cute. I listen to it constantly and I have to share it with everybody because like as soon as they hear it, I've never had a person listen to it and be like, eh. Like every person who listens to it is like, this is the cutest song I've ever heard. It's so positive and happy and about love and it just makes me want to dance and smile and it's definitely a great spring song. The next one I want to talk about is White Winter Hymnal by Fleet Foxes. Yes, I know I said I was talking about spring songs and this one says winter in it, but honestly, I blame, there's this one commercial right now that uses the song and so I hear it all the time and it's just in my head lately and I think it's such a good song. I love the way it's sung, I love the way everyone sings it together within the song and I really like Fleet Foxes. So even though this is winter and it's still a spring song for me, can't stop listening to it. I love it. Next I want to talk about Moscow by Auto Heart. This is a song that I actually downloaded in February and I've just been listening to it more in March because I didn't listen to it as much in February. It's just such a happy song. Like I listen to it a lot when I'm walking to and from classes and it just like, it puts like pep in my step because I think it's so much fun. Overall, it just makes me happy when I'm walking to it. It just, it, it puts a little smile on my face, which is really my requirement for spring music. I just have to be like, huh. Now I want to talk about one. This is one of my favorite songs of all time, so I've just been listening to it more often again, and that is Polaroid by Imagine Dragons. Something about this song is so fantastic to me. Like, this song comes on and I'm like, stop everything. I have to devote all of my attention to listening to this song right now. I saw Imagine Dragons live in November, and like they sang the song, and I was like, 
this is my song. It just makes me, it makes me feel so good. You have to devote so much attention to it. It's not like a deep song. It's a really fun song to dance to, but I just feel so happy when I hear it. It makes me so happy. And the last one that I want to talk about is one that I had to mention, and that is Lords of the Sea from the, um, from the soundtrack of Gallivant Season 1. I was, I probably over-listened to Gallivant Season 1 through the duration of March. It's been stuck in my head for, like, days and days and weeks. So, yeah. But Lords of the Sea is my favorite one. I think from Season 1, to be honest, it's probably my favorite. I think it's the funniest. Plus, it has Hugh Bonneville from Downton Abbey singing a hilarious song about being a pirate, and that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, nor could there ever be. The lyrics are just so silly and stupid, because it's about a group of pirates, and their ship is on land, and they can't get it off, so they just live on land, and it's, it's so funny. I don't know. I love it. I think it's great. I'm so happy when I listen to it. I like actively giggle when I listen to it, which is embarrassing, actually. Okay, now it's time to talk about my new Funko Pops. I acquired five of them in the month of March and I just want to show them off. You can actually see every single one of the five behind me. Which ones are they? I'm kidding. I'm just gonna show you. So the first one is right behind me and it is River from Doctor Who. River song! I love her so very, very much, and I was so happy when they started coming out with the um, the female characters of Doctor Who, because I don't have Rose yet. I don't know if she exists yet, but I adore River, and I think she's fantastic, and I, like, scoured stores to make sure I was one of the first people who could, like, get my hands on her. It was. And I make the Ninth Doctor sit between her and Jack Harkness because I feel like if Jack Harkness and River Song stood together, the world would implode, probably. I don't know, that's just the vibe I get. The other new one that I acquired is over here. Let me just pull it out. I got Joy from Inside Out. I showed her off out of the box in the uh, Funko Pop tag video that Janelle and I just did, but she is beautiful and I absolutely love Inside Out and I'm cosplaying Joy this summer and maybe at New York Comic Con, so I really wanted a pop of her. Also, if anyone has any ideas for where I can purchase a blue wig, let me know. And the last three that I acquired are all Harry Potter Pops and they are all right up here. The first one of those is Cedric Diggory. And I mean, I just had to have him. I kind of want all of the Harry Potter Funkos except for all of the repeats of certain characters. I don't need six Harrys. I, I kind of want six Harrys, but I don't need them, so I'm resisting. But I think that Cedric is adorable. I like that you can see his little name Diggory on the back, and overall he's a really cute pop. The next one that I got was Draco Malfoy. This is the version of him. There's an alternate of him, and I don't remember what it is right now for some reason. But I just got regular Draco. I think he's so cute with his like first year hair that's all slicked back when he uh, when he looked sort of silly, but I think it was hilarious. He's tinier than the other Funkos because he's a first year, and that's really cute too. So overall, even though he would hate me to say this, he's adorable. Oh no, do I have Draco hair? And the last Funko that I got was Neville Longbottom. Neville is my favorite Harry Potter character, as I've stated far, far, far too many times. And I was so mad at Barnes and Noble because they were taking their sweet, time getting Neville in. I did get him and I'm so happy. It made my week basically when I bought him. I love that he's holding his he's holding Trevor, his little toad, in one hand. And I'm just happy that it's Neville to be honest. And finally the last thing I want to talk about is just a random favorite and that is a new mug. Remember my new favorite movie? It's a Zootopia mug. So I went to the Disney store like two weeks after I saw Zootopia and I bought this mug. I stared at it for a while and I was like, as an adult, do I really need an enormous mug with animated animals on it? And I was like, yes, yes I do. And it was hilarious because I went in and I was, I went into the Disney store wearing a Lion King shirt. So already they were like, we got her. She's gonna buy something. And I was like, I know, 
I know I'm gonna buy something. And as I was walking out, I was like explaining my reasons. I was like, it's great. I can put soup in it. I can put hot chocolate in it. And the woman who worked there was like, you could even put ice cream in it. And I was like, thank you, Disney store lady. So yeah, they got me. I I think it's so cute. I love all the little animals on it. I love the little, little godfather character. Um, and it's huge. This is huge. You could put two servings of hot chocolate in here. That's how you fill it up but I love it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my favorites from the month of March. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what some of your favorite things in March were, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!